thank you very much for this uh, incredible support. I apologize uh, that I don't speak German. <laughs> but um, but it's been, it, you know it's really very encouraging to see that you're all here and people all over the world are protesting this. And I I know what it, it's focused on me, but this is really about what we do, which is protecting our oceans. And that's something that is of interest to every single human being on this planet. We don't live on this planet with a dead ocean. And I think the message we're trying to send here is that governments have got to stop protecting the interests of the people who destroy our oceans. Yes. Yes. Ten years ago, we did not injure a single person. We damaged no property. What we did do is interfere with an illegal shark finning operation, and we saved the lives of hundreds of sharks. Yeah. That, that is our crime. On the complaint of a couple of poachers, this warrant was put against me, and it was dismissed by Interpol everywhere in the world for because it was politically motivated everywhere in the world, unfortunately, except for Germany. And here, apparently, there's a different way of looking on these extradition war orders. So I really don't know what the political motivation is for the uh, government of Germany. But I think that both the government of Germany and the government of Costa Rica are coming to realize that this is a much bigger issue than they thought it was. Like I said, this is about protecting the ocean. And of course, of course, Japan is very much involved in this. Last October, the Japanese government allocated 30 million U.S. dollars from the Tsunami Earthquake Relief Fund to protect their whaling fleet. And a lot of that money is being spent to attack Sea Shepherd. Last September, last September, the Prime Minister of Japan said, this is not about whales anymore. This is about not surrendering to Sea Shepherd. This is absolutely ridiculous that a government like Japan would treat our organization like we're a country they're at war with. It's a disgrace and it's an embarrassment. But they do realize one thing. As long as they continue to go to the Southern Ocean to kill whales, we will be there to stop them. And it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter whether they have me in jail or not in jail, our ships will go to the Southern Ocean. Yeah. My captains and my crews are well experienced, they know where to go, they know what to do, they don't need me to do the job. So in this way, they're wasting their time coming after me. But this is all very symbolic. But in the, in the end, I believe that uh, we're going to win this against the whaling in Japan. We're going to stop shark finning in our oceans. We're going to stop the dolphin kill in Japan. We're going to stop the killing of pilot whales in the Faroe Islands. We're going to stop the overfishing all over the world, the bluefin tuna, the swordfish, the cod. There is a law of ecology called finite resources. You cannot take too much without consequences. And if there's one ultimate message that we are trying to send, it is this. Overfish the ocean, diminish biodiversity in our seas, and the oceans will die. And if the oceans die, we all die. We do not live on this planet. We do not live on this planet with a dead ocean. We want to take a positive approach to this. We're approaching Costa Rica, we've talked to the Minister of the Environment, and we've told them, we want to work with you, not against you. We want to protect Cocos Island National Park with you, 
We don't want to have a, uh, we don't want to fight you. We want to work with you. And the Ministry of the Environment in Costa Rica is agreeing. They are very cooperative and they're talking to us. So there's a good possibility that this issue can be resolved, not just with me, but it'll give us the opportunity to return to Costa Rica to protect one of the most beautiful places in the world, the island of Cocos, which is probably the most treasured island in the world. And I've been very, very encouraged by the support we've received in Germany. From the moment I was arrested, the police actually apologized for arresting me. The judge said she was sorry that she had to send me to jail, but that was out of her control. The prison guards were asking for autographs. <laughs> Germany, Germany is an environmentally aware nation. Unfortunately, the people are usually a few steps ahead of their government in everything. The people get it. We just have to wait for the government to catch up and understand reality. And that reality is that we all have to work together because it does not matter what your political point of view is. In the long run, we all share the same planet and the same ocean and the same life support system. One of the things I like to do is to compare this planet to what it really is, a spaceship. We are on a spaceship. It's traveling through the universe at 500 kilometers a second. And like any spaceship, it has a life support system. And that life support system is maintained by the crew on this spaceship. We are not the crew. We are passengers. We're having a great time entertaining ourselves while the crew runs the ship. The crew are the bacteria, the insects, the fish, the trees, the plants, and all of those creatures which run everything for us, give us the air we breathe, the food we eat, regulate our temperature, regulate the climate. You cannot kill off the crew and expect to survive. A couple, of years, a couple of years ago, I was criticized in the United States because I said that worms were more important than people. And everybody got very upset, especially in America. And I said, how could you say something so outrageous as to say worms? are more important than people? And my answer is because worms are more important than people. The reason being is worms can live on the earth without people, but we cannot live on the earth without worms. We, we, need, we need them, they don't need us. We need fish, they don't need us. We need the trees, they don't need us. We need diversity to survive. We need to protect our crew on Spaceship Earth. So thank you. Thank you very much. I have to be back in Frankfurt before 5 because I have to report twice a day to the police in Frankfurt once before 11 and once before 5. So if I'm not back, then they'll put me back in jail. But um, so that's, that, that's the problem I have to deal with. But hopefully, hopefully this issue will be resolved in the next few days. And uh, I'm very confident that we can work with Costa Rica. I'm hoping that we'll be able to work with the German government. That's our, that's our wish, that's our intent. And we want to approach this as positively as we can because when in the end, what it's about is protecting our oceans. Thank you.
Darf ich euch mal kurz um eure Aufmerksamkeit bitten? Wir planen jetzt, das ist von der Polizei abgesegnet, vor der Siegessäule gemeinsame Fotos zu machen. Nehmt bitte den Weg durch die Unterführung, ja, nicht über die Straße, da rein ins Tor und drunter durch, rechts geht's ab, auf die Treppen vor die Säule. Die Pressevertreter machen am besten die Position hier vorne auf der Insel. Ja, und Fotos. Danke fürs Kommen. Und los.